We've been hearing from many viewers who have been locked out of their unemployment benefits account. Some of those accounts were suspended due to fraud. Others need to have their identity verified. News 8's David Gofferson has some tips to help navigate the EDD nightmare. So I lost all my money. It just it went, it went off my card. My card got frozen. Everything just locked up. In December, the state's Unemployment Development Department, EDD, suspended 1.4 million accounts due to suspected fraud. But many of those accounts were legitimate, and the unemployed workers were forced to re-verify their identities. If EDD sends you a request for identity verification, you have 10 days to respond. Submit one photo ID and one other form of identification. If your EDD claim has been suspended, respond to any request from EDD as soon as possible. Contact the offices of your state legislator and ask for help. And be sure to log on to UI Online to see if EDD has sent you any messages. It's rough, you know, I, I was supposed to be able to pay my rent this month and I couldn't. Many unemployed workers should be seeing an extra $300 per week added to their EDD accounts. To help prevent debit card fraud, transfer funds out of your Bank of America debit card account as soon as possible into your personal bank account. You can also set up recurring automatic transfers. If your debit account gets frozen, call Bank of America on the phone number on the back of your card. The best time to call is in the afternoon. Open a claim and get a claim number. Other workers have seen their claims denied and they remain stuck in the appeal process. If your EDD claim is denied through a notice of determination, you have 30 days to appeal that decision by sending in a written appeal form. A judge will hear your initial appeal over the telephone. You can also appeal the judge's decision to a review board. It could take up to a month to get your identity re-verified, but the good news is once your claim is reinstated, you, you should be eligible for any back benefits that you missed. Marcella? So frustrating though, David, because people are relying on that money week to week. For the verification process, I know the EDD was using ID.me. Are they still able to use that platform to help speed the process along? They're still using that. They're going to send you a link. Then you have to upload them a selfie. And then you have to also upload some very specific documents. Check out the list of approved documents online. If you send them the wrong documents, your claim will be delayed.